Alright guys, we're going to try to clean up this uh, filter in this uh, LG washer. It's LG Smart Drum with the Red Drive technology. Uh, model number, let's see if we can find a model in here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Uh, MEZ4191103. And I'm assuming it does, uh, you may have a different model, but I'm pretty sure um, the overall, um, the method is going to be the same. All right, so we're going to use this flathead screwdriver to remove this piece first. So as you can see, there are three holes and we're going to slowly uh, insert the screwdriver and push it. There you go. Mm. All right. Wow. There we go. Now, this needs to be cleaned. And so, just so you know, when you press it, don't press it too much because this is a plastic piece, so you can easily actually break it. So make sure you don't press on it too much. All right, now we're gonna remove this piece, this hole right here, uh, the bolt. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, um, we're gonna use a ratchet and wrench and 10 millimeter socket. There we go. Make sure you don't lose this, uh, the gasket and the washer. Um. It's not that dirty. But this piece right yes. here still needs to be cleaned. And the inside. Mm. So, um, quick note: um, my wife actually she used uh, uh, baking soda and what was the other one? Vinegar. And vinegar to actually run a cycle every now and then to kind of get rid of like remove all that dirt you know so normally it would have been actually much dirty around these areas as well however um, um running a running rounds of uh, vinegar with uh, with baking soda actually removes a lot of that debris so that's why it looks much cleaner than actually what it could have been but however removing these pieces still allows you to actually clean up these areas here so it won't rust it out and you know damage the main uh the spinner in the middle so that's why that but either way this is how you do it so if you never done it before i would highly encourage doing this method first before actually running a cycle of vinegar with baking soda that way you can actually see how dirty you can get over time um but once you clean this up, um, I would highly encourage every now and then running, uh, you know, rounds of vinegar with baking soda, uh, with just with, with no stuff in it, like with no dirty laundry, just to kind of like a running water with a mixture of vinegar and baking soda will help you remove a lot of that debris and the, you know, the dirt, uh, from the filter and, you know, keeping it clean and helps you, um, last the uh, last year uh, washer uh, washing machine actually a lot longer than it uh, than what you know normally they how long they normally last so either way uh, this is just a quick tip how to you know clean up the the washer machine filter so this is how we do it you guys so we just finished cleaning so my wife she gave it a like a real uh, really good scrub over here in this area and this is um as good as it can pretty much look now um these kind of marker spots here um they look to be kind of permanent now at this point but as you can see nothing's coming up 
to my finger when I rub it. So it's all clean. It's just these little spots here now. But otherwise, this piece is clean. Um, there are some washers and like a little gasket pieces uh, in this area as well as on the screw. So make sure you don't lose them because you don't want it to leak, right? So you don't want to lose any of these um, kind of loose pieces. Uh, otherwise, there you go. So inside is looking quite shiny now. Um, so, so another thing I noticed, um, it looks like I ended up bending one of these uh, latching pieces. So I want to say it was, uh, it's probably this one. Yep. So this one, uh, make sure when you trying to get this piece out this is the first piece that you have to get it out right in order to get access to that screw um, so when you insert your uh, prying tool or or screwdriver specifically screwdriver if it's uh, if it's a uh, metal piece like that that you're trying to get um, remove this piece with uh, make sure you don't press it too hard because uh, this is this is cheap plastic um, although it does look kind of like metallic but uh, it, I mean it's just the coloring, the finish is metallic, but it's a, it's a cheap plastic, so it's very easy to break. However, one thing I noticed, uh, it does have a part number here, so you can look it up in case if you end up breaking it. You can always look it up on uh, on online and uh, place an order. So I am gonna go ahead and place an order for this piece, just because, uh, like I said, one of the pieces is kind of bent, pretty much broken now, so. I don't know what's the uh, outcome is going to be in the long run, so I don't want to take chances. I'm going to go go ahead and end up replacing this piece, and it looks like these things run around um, ten to fifteen, twenty dollars, depending on where you shop it. So, um, yeah, I mean, whenever you're removing this piece, make sure you don't press these press on this um, on these. Uh, uh, holes here too too much just kind of very slight press it should do it since it's a plastic piece anyway um anyhow so that's that and we also did end up cleaning this main piece so we did end up cleaning this main piece it's looking much more cleaner now um, as you can see and the inside is clean uh nonetheless um this white piece is a, is a separate piece. It's not connected. It's not like a one, um, like this, the upper portion and, and the inside portion. The, uh, these are two different pieces. And I wish I could remove this white piece just because uh, from the inside, you can tell like uh, these darker areas. Those are all dirt and, you know, all the debris and stuff. So, and I can't get them out. This is very tightly closed. And I'm afraid I'm going to end up breaking it if I try to open it. So I'm just gonna let it slide like this. However, what I did was I made sure that these ports are open, like these holes, because there were some dirt and debris in there. So um, I kind of clean them up with a toothpick, or you can use like a a, a wooden like a, a skewer or something like that. That that will work too. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, as long as you open those ports up, I mean, you should be fine. Otherwise, I did end up cleaning that centerpiece and the uh, upper portion. So, this is it, I guess. Now, we're going to uh, just place everything back together. So, for that, you got to make sure that it goes in the middle. There you go. So, make sure it sits right in um, that uh, little like uh, uh the middle piece actually goes right in between these um in this inside this hole so make sure it's all sitting nice and tight you would know it actually as soon as it sits, sits right you'll know it um and then and then we're gonna put this screw back in there so with this um i want to say um by just looking at it originally it did have some loctite uh blue loctite around it so um, just to make sure that it, you know, you, you won't end up causing any, um, leakage issues while putting it back. I would highly encourage you to get some Loctite and put a, like a little bit of blue Loctite around the, around these threads and, uh, while you put in it back. Um, so that way 
it, it won't end up uh, leaking and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, a little bit of Loctite. But this is uh, these are the two pieces I was talking about. Make sure you don't lose them. So there's a rubber piece here as a gasket, and you also do have this uh, little washer piece, like a star shape type of uh, washer piece. So don't lose them. And make sure you clean up this uh, this screw as well, because the original um, it had a lot of dirt around it as well as inside these uh, threads. So I did end up cleaning them. I use a uh, I use a um, toothbrush, old toothbrush, to clean it up. I guess you can use a uh, wire brush as well. However, like I said, this is a rubber piece, so if you are going to be using a wire brush, make sure you remove this rubber piece so you want to um, you won't damage it. And then we just put it back. Um, I'm going to have to set my phone aside because I can't do it uh, with one hand, holding it with one hand and uh, try to screw it back with the other hand. However, um, like I said, you are going to be using 10 millimeter socket. Um, uh, yeah, 10 millimeter socket. And if you have a ratcheting wrench, that's even better. If not, then you can uh, use just a regular wrench and still do it because there's plenty of space inside. So let me put it, everything back in there and then uh, I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, a uh, quick tip. I noticed um, since this is this, the, the bottom piece is plastic and this is metal. Um, so uh, first thing is first. Uh, so I did put a little bit of Loctite. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little Loctite. And when you put it back, when you try to screw it back in there, put the screw. Um, since this is plastic, it's very easy to damage uh, damage the threads since, since um, it's a plastic piece and this is a metal. So what you want to do is make sure that it sits right. Um, turn it counterclockwise as if you were losing it. And when you notice that little click, it means the threads are matching. Oh. There you go. And then turn it to clockwise that way you know it goes easily without damaging the threads and it's going the right place so uh, initially do it with your hand make sure it sits right and then use a uh, and then use your wrench to uh, tighten it further so that, that was just my quick tip i wanted to share with you guys just because uh since this is a plastic plastic piece um it's very easy to damage it and once you do damage the threads it's pretty much useless then you're gonna have to replace the whole piece all right and when you're putting this screw back in there uh don't over tighten it as soon as you notice that it it stops just stop right there because remember um that washer uh it had those uh edges basically and the bottom piece actually this plastic piece does have a grooves that uh, those edges actually go into so as soon as those uh, the edges actually go inside those grooves just stop it right there and that's pretty much it so now we're going to put the cap on top and call it a day and when you're uh when you're putting this uh, cap back um so these these prongs right here prongs go inside these holes so that's how you know that uh, it's sitting right so just sit like that there you go and since I broke one of those pins um, it's probably not gonna close all the way or it's probably gonna end up being loose so let's see just press it slowly there you go it would close properly if I only didn't break one of these pins. So I believe this side was broken. So that's why you see it's loose now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to oh, maybe it snap, but it's still a little loose on this side. Uh, like I said, I'm going to end up replacing this piece. Uh, and next time when I open it to clean it, uh, I'm going to be very gentle in these holes right here. When I use a screwdriver or get it maybe... Um, a plastic prying tool but otherwise this is it guys so now it's closed all sealed up and looking much cleaner than it was earlier um i hope you guys liked this video if you did uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions consider uh, leaving them in the comment section below 
and uh, let me know and I'll do my best to help you guys out or if you, if you guys have any further tips for other viewers uh, please also be sure to share them in the comment section so, uh, so that way people know um, uh, will know the tips and um, can help themselves out anyway thanks for watching you guys have a wonderful day and stay safe